Hey guys, Tyler here with Mahoney Outdoors. Down here at the property, it is late May and 2021 and we are just kind of getting stuff packed up finally from turkey season. Turkey season actually ended a couple weeks ago and I've had some blinds sitting out still that I needed to come get. Um, but one in particular I actually wanted to show you guys. It's the new Rhino Blind 180 and I really, really like it. It is uh, one of those blinds where you can actually see through a couple of the walls and you can't really see in. So here's the blind behind me and the windows are up currently um, but when it's uh, completely enclosed on the back with the door closed it's kind of blacked out on the inside so even when you do bring the windows down a little bit animals can't see in. But for those of you that have been subscribers or maybe have seen the other product review slash unboxing video that I did on that Primos version that came out a couple years ago. You know, Primos, they had a great concept. I was really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, after I got it out of the bag and actually used it, you know, their whole thing was it's a blind without a blind spot. And in reality, they had six black blind spots because they didn't use the same see-through material on the windows. So if you didn't have those windows wide open, you were having to look to the sides of all of those windows. You can go back on the channel and find that and you can see what I'm talking about. This on the other hand is really awesome. It's got the windows that basically have the, the slide down technology. So there's no, there's no black fabric that you're having to peek around. And I'll show you the inside of it here in a minute. I sat in this blind several times this year. Turkey hunting was just tough, but we did have turkeys come out into the field that we're in now and they didn't see us, didn't have any issue whatsoever. So uh, a lot of deer that came through never saw us. So I, I was really impressed with it. I like the materials. I like the, basically everything in it is very little to no sound whatsoever. Um, there's no zippers, which I like a lot. And for the price point, we got it at Everhart's Outdoors down here in Clinton, Missouri. And it was right at 200 bucks or 190 bucks. They were running a special on it. And it was cheaper than anywhere I could find it on Amazon or anywhere else for that matter uh, back when we bought it earlier this spring. So anyway, with that, I'll kind of show you the inside of it so you can see kind of what the cool factor is about this blind and uh, why people are really digging it. So I personally, after experiencing the Primo surround view blind and this one, I like this one substantially more, not only because of the quality and the way they designed the blind, but also the price point is about half the cost of the upper end Primos version. So anyway, let's take a peek inside. Okay, so here's the door and I didn't have this all. You can see these little clips that actually attach on the inside, keep it totally closed. Um, but the way you open it, it's just a nice little, it's a little clip that you can silently open. One thing I'll point out, so these windows, you can open up on the back. These these two walls here are blackout walls. They're not the see-through. You can see the see-through walls up front there. Um, but one thing I noticed here, it uh, looks like this is holding some water when you have this latched up here. So that is one thing to be mindful of, that uh, that does hold some water there. So before you put it away, you might want to let this window down and let that drain. So let's take a step inside. Okay, so here we are in the blind, and I'm not sure how great a detail the camera's going to pick up. You can see I left my tripod sitting out there, and you can see that really, really well. The hubs are really, really simple, very easy to deal with and put up so the way this window works oh kind of spooked me in here a second <laughs> check this out a little lizard was hiding out in here we'll let him be I'll show you over here so the way these windows slide down there's these little sliders like this and they slide down really easily so I guess I am gonna go ahead and watch out little buddy move your tail um, 
and that's it and boom now you got your window and it is the rhino 180 because you get a 180 degree deal here and we had our windows about open like that while we were sitting in here on both sides turkeys came out in both directions here we never had an issue so i really really like it you can kind of see you can bring this whole window down as well this whole side you can bring down as a big big window and it just attaches again these are silent quick attach type deals so there's really no noise whatsoever of course the standard little pocket but that is a quick look at the inside of the Rhino 180 one thing I'll show you on this door the way this attaches you get these little clips that go up onto the bar there and they just pop right on pretty pretty slick just pull that down and once you've got that wall completely blacked out and sealed back here doesn't matter how much light is coming in over here you're completely blacked out now I would highly recommend wearing black definitely helps as far as being cold or the weather kind of coming in on you we never had any issues I never really sat here in torrential rain by any means but there was a couple mornings where it was misty and, and all that kind of stuff and never really had a problem with a bunch of water coming in here and getting stuff wet and it's pretty spacious it's very comfortable for two people you could probably have two adults and a and a kid as well but for two adults it, it's more than enough space and and one especially you've got a ton a ton of room so. and it does have the little slats here and here along the entire outside of the blind so if you did want to brush it in a lot more you could we don't ever really do that for turkeys and if we were deer hunting we probably would deer seem to be a lot more uh, averse to the blind if you don't have it brushed in really well but yeah you can see i've got the door wide open back there but if that door was not wide open literally all you'd be seeing is that black so pretty you can see why you just you wear black while you're in there and nothing's seeing you all right guys well that's pretty much it just a quick little run through of the rhino blind 180 really just overall for the price point right around that 200 dollars give or take wherever you find it you really can't you really can't beat this blind and the cool factor of being able to see everything coming through it it, it takes a little getting used to because when you're in a normal blind that has the solid black fabric on the inside where stuff really can't see movement at all you you feel like you can't move uh but we figured out pretty quickly we were moving a lot and testing it out to see what we could get away with and as far as being in the blind and having turkeys right out here 15 20 yards moving around getting the camera up putting the gun out the window they never never had an issue whatsoever again i'm tyler with mahoney outdoors and if you have any questions or comments or maybe you have this blind have a different experience or a similar experience feel free to comment below and let everyone know your experience with it so thank you guys for watching uh if you haven't subscribed to the youtube channel already we'd greatly appreciate that you know we just like to put out hunting and fishing videos for fun and uh, i'm not really on a set schedule whenever i have something cool like this i like to do a little video on it and and put that out there so we'll uh, we'll have more stuff coming here throughout the year and we'll have a lot more of the trail cam video compilation videos coming as well so if you've if you've perused the channel you've seen we put a lot of those up and they're really cool we get a lot of really cool animal interactions on the on the browning trail cameras is what we use primarily and uh, so we have a lot more of those coming thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one